Konnichiwa, bitches. Welcome to the Commander Dojo. I'm your host, Sensei Lex. Today, I have a very spicy meatball of a gameplay video for you. My homies over at Play to Win have joined me in the dojo for some competitive EDH. Today, Tyler is playing his Kin and Bonder Prodigy deck, affectionately named the Dork Lord. This deck is primarily based around generating infinite mana with combos with Basalt Monolith and also Mirage Mirror. Then, in classic Simic fashion, taking all of that mana that you've generated through a combo and channeling it into an outlet like Finale of Devastation. Dylan is playing his Batman deck, which is a mid-range ad nauseum build. Tevish and Kraum are both massive card advantage engines, and Dylan is looking to take full advantage of them here so he can pull off an early game Thassa's Oracle Demonic Consultation combo. And Kam is playing his Kenny's Famous Combos, aka KFC. This build is full of infinite mana combos and value engines that help turn Kenrith into a win condition. And I'm piloting my own Kess Dissident Mage Brew called Waste Not, Want Not. My main goal with this list is to combine wheels with a Waste Not to set up incredibly explosive game-winning turns. There's also a healthy smattering of Underworld Breach lines because those happen to fit really well into a deck like this. And with the upkeep out of the way, let the people know what time it is, Yugi boy. It's time to do, do, do. play Magic via webcam with Play to Win. Did you go to four, Dylan? I did go to four. Girl, you a freak. Gotta, you gotta risk it for the biscuit, am I right? Absolutely. Big time. No gamble, no future. Everybody ready to go? Let's do. Cast a mana crypt. Uh, play a Manamo, nope. and I'm going to cast a turn one Rhystic Study. Pass the turn. Very good. Okay. Play an Ancient Tomb. Ooh. And I'll cast Jeweled Lotus. Ooh. Good job. I'll crack Lotus for a three black and lose two life off of the Ancient Tomb. Cast Tevish that. Tevish okay. I'll uh, plus two. Get two thrills. Pass turn. Play Watery Grave. Um, I'll shock myself for two. Play a Soul Ring, and I won't pay for uh, Rhystic Study. Oh, come Perfect. on. Feed me, come feed on, you didn't me, pay Seymour. Either. Let's do that, yeah, really. <laughs> Let's play uh, the Give Tyler Lots of Cards game. I'm going to play a game. Soul Ring uh, to play Talisman of Creativity. Yes! Oh take my god. Then I would like to play a Chrome Mox, and oh. to that Chrome Mox... Are you going to pay for the Chrome Mox? Yes, I'll pay. Don't draw. Okay. Pass turn. Oh boy, well now I feel like I can't do anything thanks to the two of you. I feel like you should. Um, well, Cameron, yeah, please just, just play a Manator can pass. <laughs> uh, what else? Pass. Roll for a Crypt. Odds, I will take three. Scalding turn. I'm gonna crack it right away. Go find a Trap Pilot. Gotta say, I love the uh, Espeon and Umbreon tokens, by the way. Thank you, I appreciate that. Pass Cannon. Cast a Mirage Mirror. I will okay. move to clean up step and discard a snow covered forest to go down to seven. Plus one Tevish Sot and sacrifice one of these zero ones to draw two cards. Play Volcanic Island. I'm gonna cast Imperial Recruiter. Risk Success Trigger? You can draw. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get a Dockside Extortionist. And then I will pass my turn. I would like to play Jace, Vryn's Prodigy, and I will pay one. And then I will Mana Crypt, and I will pay one. Stop paying for it. I'm done. I will pass the turn. City of Brass is land for turn. Cast Chrome Mox and Vaporistic Study. Exiling an Elvish Mystic. We'll lose a life here to Vaporistic Study again with a Blue Nintendo. Pass the turn. Right. I'm going to cast a Mox Amber. I'm going to play a City of Brass mm -hmm. land for turn. Oh my god, guys, why is this game so hard? It is difficult. Singleton four player legacy, no big deal. I'm gonna tap mana crypt for oh. three colorless. I'm gonna use two of that to have Mirage Mirror become a copy of mana crypt until end of turn. And then I will tap that one for three colorless. So I'm gonna have four colorless floating. Um, I'm gonna tap Mox Amber for two blue and use that four colorless and try and hard cast a conch face. That's disgusting. That is, that is gross. I'll allow it. I got I, nothing to say about it. Oh, sexy. All right, I didn't think I'd get this far. What do I do now? Mm, I will pass turn. Jesus, okay. Uh, untap. Draw a card. Draw two. Play a City of Brass. Paying the one for the Rhystic Study. Casting a Dockside Extortionist. No responses for me. Me neither. Pass. So that's nine that, is that nine? Nine that treasures. Is nine. I'll cast a Notion Thief, and I'll pay the one on Rhystic Study. Crazy altar sleep on this, <laughs> but it's a Notion Thief. I am not going to respond to Notion Thief. So then what happens if I plus one Tevish Sot and minus... 
uh, and to and sacrifice this zero one to try to draw two cards. Uh, you will draw two cards, and I will choose not to take my constant triggers. I'll lose one life from the city of Brast and cast a soul ring. May I draw a card? You, can, you may. Wait. I'm I gonna choose not to. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> cast a demonic tutor. Uh, Tyler, how many cards are in your hand right now? Seven. Wait, eight. Eight. I will eight? get this card. That's definitely not a windfall. He was definitely yeah, not, not deciding all. between windfall and wheel when he asked me how many cards in him. Totally. Yeah, definitely not. Cast windfall. Um, I am gonna respond. Um, okay. I'm gonna pay two, and I am going to attempt to baby rift the notion thief in response. I have uh, one more treasure to sack here for a dispel. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Are you paying one for the dispel for risk study? Um, no, I won't pay. Okay, I will choose not to draw. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I have one last response here. Um, all right, I want to resolve the dispel. Dispel counters Psychonic Rift. Windfall is still on the stack. And cast a Mystical Tutor. I have nothing to say about it. Search. I too don't have anything to say about it. I'm just here for the ride, so have fun <laughs> tutoring. <laughs> okay. All right, I am going to find a Time Twister and put that on top of my library. Uh, it gives us a chance to have a hand again, maybe, if there's also a way to get rid of the Notion Thief between turns, which is going to be incumbent upon Lex and Cam. Interesting. I'll see what I can do. Um, with that, I am good to resolve this windfall. Um, six cards, then? Six mm -hmm. cards. So everyone with discards, discard. and Notion Thief will replace your draws and give them to me. So, as we're resolving this with the Notion Thief, thinking, 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 I'm going to choose to... Uh, draw two every time you draw one, Dylan. Oh. Oh. Okay. The fact so, that you have no mana means I don't think you can play a mana source, which means unless you have a free bounce spell, I think I can force you to draw out. Since uh, even see. if you draw into a chain of vapor, you won't be able to cast it. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Well, here's so that's the thing. That's your everyone's draws. Okay, so that's all the yep. draw triggers that you have, basically. Yeah. And for each one of those, I will choose to draw two, and then Notion Thief replaces that draw two, and you draw that two. Um, so that means And then, then when you for... go to draw that two, then I can replace that and draw two. So this this is an infinite loop where even the very first draw will result yeah. in... Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna draw his entire deck. Oh. I just killed myself then. You sure did. All right. Well, I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. I mean, I think that was hard to see. Like, I, I definitely... Um... I don't think that was hard to see. I think I just missed that. <laughs> oh, wait. No, hold on. I have um, Simeon Spirit Guide Red Elemental Blast in my deck. Oh, okay. So... Yeah, yeah. So you all right, we gotta go, to we gotta go until you find him then. Yeah. Okay. So I will draw the first one. How do I, how do, I do this then? In what order do I... How, in what, like, groupings do I draw cards? Um, you're gonna draw cards uh, two at a time. Draw two. Okay. Draw two, draw two, draw two, draw two, draw two, draw two. There's a pyroblast. Draw I, two. Dylan, I actually that... don't think it matters. Will you receive priority before we finish resolving the windfall? Because these are all replacement effects, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What do you mean? Oh, this the Kong Sphinx is a trick. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so confusing. <laughs> okay, hang on. Yeah, no, no, yeah. you're correct. The Sphinx triggers are all on the stack. So he can, he can resolve, he can pyroblast it or whatever, but the triggers are still going to happen. Okay. They all go on the same, on the stack at the same time. So wait, you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 24 so was the original. There are 24 Kong Sphinx triggers on the stack after you resolve the windfall. That's what we should be doing. You should draw 24 and have 24 Kong Sphinx triggers on the stack, and then we go from there. I'm Is sorry. Is that how it works? Yes. Yeah. I, I, yes. Yeah. Okay. You can pull the Kong yeah. Sphinx, but the triggers are still there. That sounds correct to me. So I'm gonna draw two. Okay, 26. I'll uh, draw another two. All right, 27. And I have, on the other one in the stack, I have Simian Spirit Guide, Pyroblast, your Consecrated Sphinx. Are you gonna pay one for Ristic Study? No, I won't pay. That's interesting. I will choose to draw a card in response. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 hold on. Wait, hold on, can I pay? What does that mean? Uh, I don't think you can. <laughs> you have already paid the Simian Spirit Guide to put the Pyroblast on the stack, which means you can't pay for the Ristic Study, which means we restart the cycle and I get to draw you out again. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what happened. Fucking yeah. yes! Oh my god, yeah. it's so sexy. God fucking damn it. Oh, guys. 
<laughs> I have never had such a boner as I have right now. That's fucking fantastic. So I'll just kill myself. Super fun. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm dead. <laughs> that was so mathy like, and so <laughs> wild. You died with your deck in your hand like a real man, okay? Exactly. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was art. As, as I forced Dylan to draw out his deck, I also increment Conk Sphinx triggers the entire time. So I can choose to draw effectively as many cards as I want after Dylan has died and the Notion Thief is exiled. So I'm going to choose to draw a lot of cards right now, because I would like that. And Dylan, do you know roughly how many cards you had left to draw through? It's got to be somewhere around your deck minus 30. Yeah, I would say, yeah, I probably, yeah, minus 40. So somewhere around 60 draws after that. Okay, so it's definitely enough that I could be drawing my whole deck. So I'm going to um, resolve an arbitrary number of Kong Sphinx triggers and draw all of my deck minus, um, I'm gonna leave nine cards in my deck and draw the rest. I would like to, uh, draw a card. Yep, I'm gonna choose not to draw two. I'm going to, uh, tap Jace to draw a card, and then I will discard a Ponder. I am done. I will pass the turn. I can play Kenrith here, um, and I'm, I will pass. Sorry, I'm gonna force the Kenrith. Oh, Kenrith is gone. Okay, that is all. I will pass. Unless you guys got something exceptional, I'm pretty sure I got it here. I have uh, one thing, but I imagine you have 12 counters in hand, so it won't really I, matter. I, I think 12 is a conservative number for that, to be honest. <laughs> 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 I will um, cast Basalt Monolith, which is currently in my hand, um, try and demonstrate Infinite Colorless. I can uh, regrowth for Finale of Devastation, Finale of Devastation for X is 100, and swing for Lethal with Conk Sphinx at Lex and uh, Ken and Matt Camp. Does that work? I'll do the one thing I can do, and uh, play an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. I will Fierce Guardian shift that. Big time. <laughs> there you go. GG. Excellent. Nice. Flawless. Oh my Victory. goodness. Wow. That was stupid on my end. My bad. No, that wasn't stupid. I, 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 think you, I think you had to go for it, and we've had plenty of other times where we've been through that interaction with Conk Sphinx and Notion Thief, and it is not right to let you draw. All the way. It's only because you were yeah. tapped out, and I had a Ristic study that I got away with. So it. note to self: don't just keep a hand because you have a lot of fast mana rocks in it. I was hoping to draw some kind of payoff so I could put all the mana I had to work, but sometimes luck doesn't go your way. Cam and I both were kind of largely just here for the ride in this particular game. It was really cool to see both Tyler and Dylan's decks pop off though. This was also a game I wanted to highlight because of the complicated rules interactions between Consecrated Sphinx and Notion Thief. Since Commander is so open and varied and the card pool is so huge, you can get a lot of really strange rules interactions from time to time. To be honest, that can make for some really fun memories around the commander table. Everybody having their own opinion, trying to figure out exactly how certain cards interact with each other. I hope you enjoyed today's gameplay video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Commander Dojo if you haven't already. Also, I recently started a Commander Dojo Discord server. If you'd like to join, you can find a link to do so in the description below. And as always, you know the deal. Stay classy, stay safe, and I... We'll see you next time.